This is what I do. Hi, good afternoon. My name's Emma Last from Progressive Minds, and with me today is the very lovely Helen Hill. Um, and we are going to be talking about um, from being from stress to strong. Um, so the reason why it's become, called Inspiring Your World um, is because um, I really believe that we can reach out to people and we can inspire the people that are within our reach. So each, each one of us, um, if we've got a story to tell, can really impact on others and, and help in one way or another. So first of all, Helen, please would you just uh, introduce yourself? Of course, yeah. So I'm Helen Hill and I'm also known as Unlikely Genius, which is my business name. Uh, so I'm a digital learning content and graphic designer, um, been self-employed for the last two years. Um, and I am a, a bunny mother, <laughs> absolutely obsessed with bunny mother. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm a crocheter, an archer, all sorts of things, um, and an absolute clumsy fool, really. <laughs> yeah, we, I know about the clumsy fool. You yeah. also make, you're very creative, aren't you? You make lots yeah. of things with like resins and things like that as yes, well, don't you? Very, that, you're like, yeah, yeah. 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 You're like, you're like creative. All, all creative. Yeah. Okay, so um, as we're talking about from stress to strong, please could you share. Uh, your story in relation to stress? Yeah, so as I say, I've been self-employed for two years now, but stress is one of the main things that kind of rocketed me into that, really. I got myself into a, a really bad cycle of constant stress, which just kept building, and then I'd pull it back a bit, and it'd build again worse the next time and pull it back. Um, so it was leading to a lot of anxiety, and I was really emotional. I was not happy in what I was doing. Yeah. So I eventually just made the leap. I just thought, it's either now or never. Let's throw myself into being freelance, see if that would ease up some stress, which obviously that could work too, yeah. uh, being freelance. But actually, it's been yeah. an absolute blessing for me. Um, it's perfect. And I'm a, a new woman these days, let's say, to where I was sort of two years ago. Um you know, I'd got to that point where, you know, when you're trying to climb that corporate ladder, but then I knew that wasn't for me, but I was trying to climb it anyway because I'm really sort yeah. of determined, um, yeah. always wanting to achieve. So I was trying to get there and I just wasn't getting there. Um, starting to feel yeah. like a failure all the time. And then when you add in lots of personal stuff like health issues for myself, my family, yeah. and just loads of things that were on moving house and all that, it, all collided yeah and, yeah i got stressed <laughs> yeah okay yeah. so um if i was to say to you what tends to trigger your stress sort of now what 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 are you aware of that might do that yeah i think one big thing that i've realized over the last few years is comparisonitis so comparing myself to other people all the right. time which i'm doing a lot less now yeah, um, but I, I was really doing that a lot and ruminating on things as well. So I was yeah. constantly thinking about what had happened rather than, you know, living in the moment or, you know, thinking of yeah. the future. Yeah. Um, yeah. Also taking too much on. That's my big thing. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just yeah. like, give me all the stuff. I'll do it. It's fine. Yeah. I'll do it <laughs> yeah. Terrible. Yeah. That. People pleasing. Yeah. Overachieving. Um, yeah. Yeah. And not giving myself time off. Is yeah. a big thing. And I do yeah. get insomnia. I've always had insomnia. Yeah. But I, you can see a cycle of it again, trying to starting to pick up. And then the less I sleep, the more stressed I get. So then I yeah. sleep even less. So yeah. That, that's a big, big one for me, a big trigger. Yeah. yeah. Um, so how would you say stress shows in you? What happens to you? Um Definitely the sleep is one of the first things to go, yeah. but also comfort eating. I'll realise yeah. that I'm I'm doing that a little bit. And I get a fluttery heart. Um yeah. and almost that kind of shakiness that can come with it. Um yeah. a big thing I started to notice was that I was withdrawing from people, from friends yeah. groups and things and kind of avoiding seeing people. Yeah. Yeah. Um and then when I was with them I just couldn't 
I didn't want to talk. Didn't didn't really want anyone yeah. to ask me questions. <laughs> um, Which is yeah. not like you, is it? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, not really. <laughs> not now, anyway. Um, but yeah, I think it's one of the, the shutters come down with me, and that, that's when I know I'm stressed. Yeah. I start to just switch off from everything and just keep the head yeah. down going when actually I should yeah. be taking a step back. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I start getting really snappy and irritable, and <laughs> someone say I'm like that all the time. But okay. oh, I can't believe that. I've never seen that before. <laughs> no, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> yeah, I think they're the main, oh. main ones, really. But definitely emotional. Yeah. Think, yeah. 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 I and the fluttery heart for me. I yeah. Mm -hmm. I get that. You it's know, a really if, weird if I'm, feeling. I'm really stressed. Yeah. 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 It just feels like um, you do a heartbeat every now and again. Like mm. real, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, I've had it for I had it started with it a long really long time ago. Mm. And um and the and I would never get it during the day. It would only be at night. Yeah. So when you lied really you got laid really still, I could yeah. literally feel it kind of palpitating while I was mm. um yeah. Yeah, but actually, I don't, don't, it's very, very rare I get it now at night. Yeah. Very yeah. rare. I don't um, get it too much now. Well, yeah, the only caffeine, though, I've noticed it. <laughs> yes, well, I don't drink caffeine. Yeah. Um, because for that reason, because <laughs> it does yeah. contribute to that. So, yeah, I, I discovered that quite a number of years ago, probably about uh, six or seven years ago, something like that. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and then withdraw caffeine. Uh, we threw caffeine from my diet doesn't mean to say that i don't like coffee but, um, yeah. and everyone says well what's the point of drinking coffee it's, well it's like well i like it yeah so, i only have one a day yeah. maybe two yeah yeah so, yeah okay so uh what's your top tip um that you could share to help uh help others that are currently suffering with stress so I think for the one that has really made a huge difference is to, for me is, I think I mentioned it before, uh, redefining what success is to you. So y it's so easy in when you're working in companies and things to get caught up in that loop yeah. of people going, oh, you, you should be aiming for this or this promotion or you should do this, that, and yeah. the other. Yeah. And it, it's what society, society tells you you should do, just climb up and up and up. Yeah. But sometimes it's not right for you and, you know, success... Yeah to me for me i've realized is about yeah me being a bit more comfortable with money but also working on projects that i enjoy even if it means you know i'm not getting paid as much or yeah and having a bit more control over my day and the times that i work and giving yeah. me flexibility and things as well um yeah. it's definitely really made me realize that success for me is not about Oh, I'm, look at me! I'm a team leader, or I'm earning yeah. six figures. Yeah. A lot of freelancers yeah. talk yeah. about the coveted six yeah. figure yeah. business and things. Um, so I'd, I'd say really have a think about what it is that's important for you. What what yeah. would success look like for you, for your family, for you know whatever aspects of your life it will impact. Um, yeah, and start thinking about how you can take steps to get there rather than. What everyone else tells you tells you should be aiming for. Yeah, and it's it's about finding, it's about being in a situation where you you can feel like you're the real you, isn't it? Yeah. It's about you know living life how you want to live life. Yeah. Um, and yeah. that's been a I huge think... thing for me. The feeling like I can finally be me. I, I've realised now that I think for years I was trying to be someone else, which. Yeah. added to the stress because you're trying to keep up this thing and I, it, it kept crumbling and now I can just be me and I, I'm absolutely great you know I'm so much better and happier and you yeah know, you don't have to worry about all that anymore and your clients love you for it yeah, <laughs> and make so. you do horrible things like come on and do Facebook lives yeah. and talk about stress and your life before oh, we just. <laughs> yeah. and make you do videos and things <laughs> like that <laughs> Yes, you have a lot to answer for, actually. <laughs> yeah, all good. It's making me do new stuff. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. It's part, all part of well-being. Yeah. Keep learning. Very important oh, always, part. Always. Keep always. Learning. Eternal student, I am. Yeah. 
Well, we've got a lovely comment from someone saying this is a very relatable story. Um, oh. I can't tell. I can't tell who it's from because um, with Streamyard you have to click. I should have said that at the beginning. Um, you have to click and accept their comments for us to be able to identify who. Um, it's like a GDPR thing, I think. Yeah. So, okay. Well, thank you ever so much um, for joining me today, Helen. And I hope you'll forgive me for dragging you on here and talking, having to talk. Um, I am very grateful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's good. It's good. I am very grateful, and uh, I'm sure um, many others will be grateful for you sharing your story. Yeah. So thank you ever so much. Well, no problem. I'll speak bye. To you soon. Bye. Oh, it's weird. I can't say bye. My hands going the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs>